after the harvest, if the chestnuts are still enclosed in the burrs, we need to physically remove them. So shucking the nuts out of the burrs becomes a chore at the end of the season. Now when the when the chestnuts are ripe, the burr naturally opens. But because we're constantly worried that our nuts will be, you know, predators are going to come and eat our nuts before that, you know, before we can harvest them, we tend to harvest our hybrids before they're fully ripened. In other words, we harvest them while the burrs are still closed. And so opening the burrs then, this annual chore, uh, we, 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 we end up shucking them out when they're just not quite ripe yet. Now they will ripen up a little bit in the burr if we leave them. They will ripen up a little bit after we get them in the, in the storage bags and peat moss. The reason we put them in the peat moss and in a, in a, in a, in a storage bag is for a cold stratification a cold treatment that mimics the effect of winter on the on the nut. Chestnuts may have a dormancy requirement that requires a cold treatment before they germinate in the spring.